What's up my cuties? It's your girl, QT Times, back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hitting that notification bell so you know when I post again. And yes, y'all, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm a little extra cute for y'all today. Because, you know, QT, QT has to be cute for you guys. But anyway, so y'all, um, this is a special video. So last night, I went to sleep with 99 subs. I was hoping and I was praying that, you know, by the end of the night, I would hit 100. So I went to sleep, you know, sleep, sleep, sleep. Mm -hmm. And then I went to bed. I mean, I woke up. Now, you guys, I have not seen any comments from my last video. I have not looked at them because I literally woke up and went to work. And I just, I got off maybe like an hour ago. Anyways, we're going to get all to that anyway. But, um, so I haven't looked at my comments, but I looked at my channel just to see, like, what happened. And you guys... I went on there and I see that I hit 100 subs and I just want to say thank you. You and me did it together. I'm so happy that you guys are, you know, joining the QT family and I'm growing as a channel because I never thought that I would hit 100 subs. I I seen all the other channels, like so many people were like, no, no shade to them because I'm happy that they're growing. But I always thought like, dang, like I'm never going to hit 100. Like I'm always going to be stuck. And I just want to say thank you guys to everybody. I'm very humble. I'm grateful. I'm just, I just, it's amazing. So, y'all, so to celebrate hitting 100 subs, today I got something special to eat for you guys. Something slight. You probably can kind of see it already, but yeah. And the reason why this food is already out is because I tried to upload this video twice and it keeps cutting off. So hopefully it doesn't cut off this time, y'all. But today I have some Jamaican food. I have some jerk chicken with extra sauce. Spicy cabbage, two sides, and red beans and rice. So what tings are we about to get into today? What tings? What tings? I'm sorry, you guys. That is a bad accent. I do not speak pantine pantin or pantine. Is that what it's called? I think it's called pantine. Sorry, you guys. If you're Jamaican and you're watching this, don't take no offense. I'm just being stupid. And as always, I got my, you know, ice water because, you know, they still don't have Deer Park at Walmart. But anyway, y'all, so I just want to say thank you. I'm so excited. Look at this cabbage. Spicy cabbage. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah. I made some red beans and rice. And I also got plantains, but I don't really eat them, so I'm not going to eat them. This is, this is not for me, y'all. And let's get into this jerk chicken. But, yeah, y'all. So, I just want to say. Mmm, pretty good. Nice and sweet. Mmm, the sauce is good. So, you know, I just want to say thank you so much. I wish I had, I gotta get me a, a, a stand thing so y'all can see my food because I feel like you guys can't see it. But anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me. And it's only up from here. But yeah, so today, as you guys know, if you don't, today, well this week, I have a six day work week, meaning that I have to work six days of the week, and the week is seven, so pretty much, I'm going to be at work most of the time. I had to pick up a, well, I didn't have to, my manager asked me nicely if I could work. I don't eat the skin, but I like to suck the meat. I mean, suck the sauce. That did not sound right, y'all. Please, don't go, don't put your mind together. <laughs> but, um, he asked me nicely if I could work because four people took off the same day. And they don't really have that many people. So, I agreed to work because he's my favorite manager and he always look out for me. So, but the funny thing is, he's off. So, how am I coming in to work for you and you off? How that work? But anyway, so today is part is day day two out of day six. Today wasn't that bad. I'm trying to save my energy for the end of the week because I know it's gonna be busy. I have not worked a Saturday lunch in so long. I thought y'all can't see my face. There we go. But I have I feel like I haven't worked a Saturday lunch in so long, so I don't know what to expect. Like I told y'all on one of my earlier my old my older videos earlier earlier videos this week that 
I used to work six days a week because my manager wanted me to work six days a week. But my new manager was like, you know, if you just work Monday through Friday, you can have the weekends off. And everybody's probably thinking, that, ooh, that's an easy schedule. Like, you got it made. Listen, it's an easy schedule, but it's not easy to work. Because nine times out of ten, I'm by myself every single day. So, it's not easy. It might seem like it, but it ain't. I work my off during Monday through Friday. That's why I deserve to have Saturday and Sunday off. Y'all know how fast the weekend go by? It go by like that. I can't even stand my fingers because I got nails on, but it go like that. It goes by super duper fast, so I deserve that. But this week, I don't know, so we'll see how it goes, y'all. But so far, so good. I can't complain. But yeah, y'all, I don't even know what to talk about in this video. I was going to do the 20, 20 questionnaire that the two girls went butt bang, you know, <coughs> Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Challenge me too, but this was really last minute. I literally, when I looked at what I had, <coughs> I was, <coughs> <coughs> I asked her for mild, but I think she gave me spicy. But, I asked for, um, but yeah, I didn't, I don't know. I did it was the last minute. I ain't had the questions written down. And so yeah, it didn't turn out good, but this is really good. It's a lot of bone now. Where to meet at? But yeah, so uh I'm just happy. And I can't wait for next weekend because that's when I post my uh C Squad inspired video. I can't wait I can't wait to record that. This is going to be so funny. It's going to be so fun. I hope and pray that nobody takes my theme. You know, hopefully everybody does something different. I mean, I feel like this is a typical idea, but I can make it fun. I can make it like me, make it creative. But I really hope nobody has the same idea as me because I already have what, I, what, what I'm going to talk about with the theme and what food I'm going to eat and the setting and all that. But I just hope and pray that nobody does it. <laughs> I really don't want to buy do it because I feel like even if, you know, it's a competition, I want to do something different because I don't want to, feel like I'm trying to, I'm copying off them, somebody else, you know? So, we'll see. This jerk chicken isn't good, though. Ain't like that jerk chicken that I had in Jamaica, though. Oh, my God, y'all. I really wish I would have, I would have vlogged that. I went to Jamaica. This made it. Miss this made it just fast. I went to um. Mm, mm, Y'all heard that? Mm. Hold on now. Mm mm. mm no bone. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all heard that crunch? I'm like, hold on, hold on. That ain't no meat. Anyway, so. I went to Montego Bay, in Jamaica, this past May. I wish I would have vlogged it, but y'all, they got some of the sweetest people ever. Like, we gonna talk about that since we eating Jamaican food. Let's go with the theme. So, I went to Montego Bay, all inclusive. Um, me and my mom went. That was our vacay for the uh, summertime, and um. We stayed for four or five days and four nights. And see, the fun, the great thing about Jamaica is the time goes by super slow there, which is the best. And so their their time is an hour back. So the the five days that we there, it felt like six, but. The people there are really sweet. This the one woman on the resort, she would, I think she was a manager at the bar, and she see me and my mom sitting down, and she was like, "How are you doing today? How's everything going?" She said, "I like to see my people relax. 
I like to see my ladies relaxing, enjoying themselves. You want another drink? I'll make you a drink. What you like? You like strong or you like sweet? I'll make you strong for you. Like, they were really open and they wanted to make sure that you were enjoying yourself. Like, I kept getting greeted by so many girls. Like, oh, are you having a good time? And then this one girl, I remember her name. I'm not going to say it on here, but her name started with A. We're going to call her Ala. <laughs> and she... Literally, you know, she took us out in town, not on the resort. She took us in the town, like, where we was at, the party spots. She, like, got us little beers. She danced with us. Like, she was being really nice. She was hosting. She didn't even want to go out because she worked at the resort. She, she was one of the dancers because we're with her. The hotel that we were at, it had shows every night. So, she was one of the performers. But she didn't live in Montego Bay. She lived in Kingston, but that's how she makes her money on resorts. So, in Kingston, from Montego Bay, is like five hours. It is a long, long, she said either four or five hours. So, what they do is they'll work a certain amount of days. They'll work maybe four or five, I think either three or four days straight. And then they'll go back home and they'll come back the next week. So, I thought that was interesting. And I also met a guy, another guy, really nice. And we're going to call him Sal. He was really sweet. He also worked in a resort, but he also did driving on the side. So, when we wanted to go somewhere, he did it cheaper. And, y'all, I, I think one time we went out, we went out to Margaritaville. I'm pretty sure you guys heard of that. If, you, if you've been on vacation and, you know, partying and stuff, Margaritaville is where everybody parties. So, y'all... I thought that where I live, packed out parties, but no, they ain't got nothing on Margaritaville, y'all. When I literally walked in, I was sweating. It was so many people. It was so hot. The floor was caving in, and they have two levels. The first level was so full of people, you're literally like, you're literally eating somebody's sweat. Like, somebody's armpit is literally in your mouth. That's how close and packed it was. In the upper room, they had two DJs. One was on the low floor, one was on the top. So, I was like, listen. Mom, I can't do this. So we went up top, but up top you had to pay. They was like, oh, if you want to be up here, you got to pay $5. So I'm just like, we already paid to get in. And now we got to pay another fee to literally escape the heat. But I'm like, whatever. You know, I'm not going to argue with him. So I gave him the money. And um, it was nice, though. Real funny. But after we left there, we got some jerk chicken on the side of the road. Y'all, it was the best jerk chicken ever. It was so moist. But then, we went to this different place. We went to this place that everybody talks so highly of. We went to Scotchies. We went to Scotchies, right? And y'all should be proud of me because I'm really eating my food. You know, sometimes I just take like five bites and be done, but I'm hungry. Anyway, we went to this, um well-known place for their jerk chicken it was called scotchies y'all <laughs> when i tell you they put okay y'all know the shindles that be on houses you know like if the wind blows real hard your shindle will fall off they use that to cover up their jerk chicken now i was recording it right and then <laughs> sal was like such a tourist. I'm just thinking to myself, like, I don't see this every day. Like, this is something I've never seen before. So, you know, I ordered a half pound of jerk chicken. They had steamed veg, steamed veg. I wanted cabbage, but they were like, no, we have steamed veg, steamed veg. I'm like, all right, I'll just eat steamed veg. Then, the, the man was like, you know, try to jerk pork. Their jerk pork is really good. So, I'm like, all right, I'm going to listen to y'all. <clears throat> I'm going to try this stuff. That food was $30. I said, all right, I'm going to support y'all because, you know, black people should support each other. So, I bought it, right? We go back to the resort. We're watching Sal and Ella practice for the show during the day. Y'all, me and my mom ate that jerk chicken. The jerk chicken was good. Y'all, but that jerk pork, when I tell you it was so dry and hard, it was old. 
I kind of got mad because it's like, why would you offer me this old, you know, jerk pork trying to get some money? Like, at least if you want to offer it, you should at least made it fresh. You want to offer somebody some old food just trying to get some money. But it was a nice vacation. But it does rain, but it doesn't rain for long. I remember we were in, in the, uh, we were in the, uh, main lobby, in the hall, whatever, getting drinks and stuff, and it was, like, I think 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it just started pouring down raining. Now, when it does rain, it does rain hard, but then it stops instantly. It rains for, like, maybe, like, five minutes, and then it stops, so that's good. The time goes by fast. People are friendly. The music is great. One thing I didn't like was that the men are very aggressive. I don't know if it was because where I was at, but some just wouldn't take no for an answer. Some wouldn't, like, take no for an answer. Like, some would understand and some would still hound you and follow you. This one man, and I mean man, he could be my father. He kept following me around the club. And I told him, I said, can you please leave me alone? Then, like, you know how guys try to, like, touch your waist, try to get by saying, excuse me, and you move out their way and they still try to touch you? Like, I did it, I did it to him. He kept following me around. And my mom was like, you know what? Go. Leave my daughter alone. She said she don't want to be bothered, so leave her alone. And then, you know what was a bigger turn on? So he turns around. For one, he wasn't even cute. Let's just start there. You look like my, you could be my daddy. And two, you got a bigger butt than me, honey. So, now, nah. Okay. I don't want nobody got a better shape than me. So, thank you. So, but other than that, I definitely want to go back. Not with my mother because, you know, she's not, you know. It was a cute mother-daughter, you know, vacay. But I want to go with somebody that I can party with. You know, moms like to go into bed early. But she had people following her too now. Oh, don't get it twisted. She had men on her around too. She had a, it's, y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all what she told me. But let's just say. She had men that was not leaving her alone either. So. But. I gotta get me a stand so y'all can see my food. They ain't all in the way. But yes, I'm so excited that I'm at 100 subs. I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. And literally, it's up from here. Like, for real. Mm. This bag just went into my eye. It's literally up for here, y'all, though. That thing really went to my eye. Like, all we can do is go up. Ain't no unsubscribe. Ain't no nothing. So. I just want to say thanks to everybody that's, that's been supporting me since day one. Thank you to all the new subscribers. And thank you to just everyone just, you know, being nice and friendly. And, you know... It's room for everybody to be a successful mukbang channel. You know? It wasn't just made for one person to be successful. There's plenty of room for everybody to become successful on YouTube. If you want to do it. You know? Or if you want to do it for fun. You can still become successful if you just want to do it for fun. But. I'm just happy and thankful. So. On that note. I'm signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, sis. Just hit it. Or sir, mister, ma'am. <laughs> hit that button so you can see when I post again, which will be tomorrow. And y'all, I'm trying to get out these videos, pump these videos out because even though I got to work every day this week, besides Sunday, I'm going to be posting a video every day. Or at least try to. I think I've been doing good so far. What y'all think? i literally been posting a video since. Let's see. I posted a video Friday. 
I've been posting videos back to back to back to back to back. Me and C, C Squad. I know how y'all feel when y'all say y'all ready for Vlogtober to be over. I'm not really doing Vlogtober. I'm just posting a video every day because I don't know. I And also, also, before I end this video, when I get my camera, I will be doing Vlogmas. I didn't do Vlogtober because I feel like I don't want to do it without a camera. So when I'm, vlog, I'm vlogging all Christmas, I'm just ready for like the holidays. Like I love Halloween, but I'm just ready for the family and oriented holidays. Like I'm ready to be just love. I'm ready to just be around good vibes and just family and food and just laughs and good a good time. And just being thankful that we made it to another year. And just thankful that we have loved ones, you know, just, you know. I just love the feeling of the holidays. You just feel like when the holidays come on, like holidays come around, you hear the music and then, you know, the decorations and the cold. Even though I don't like the cold, everything together is just great. But yeah, y'all, <laughs> make sure to subscribe to this channel, you know, press that bell so you 